Hello, everyone. Today, let's learn lecture two, network reference model. So first, let's look at uh, how various information is represented in our life. Actually, the information is represented as data. So first, let's look at what is data and how the data is transmitted. So in today's lecture, we will learn the network reference model. Actually, we will divide the network into several different layers, and we will use the network reference model to understand the life of the data. In detail, we will learn how the data is transmitted in the sender, and how different layers operate on the data, and how the receiver receives the data. So now let's begin part one applications and data. So first, what is application? Actually, every day we contact with these uh, applications. We use uh, a lot of applications in the PC or in our smartphone. So we will use the web browser, we will use the online gaming, we will use the online chatting, we will use uh, remote access, remote login, and also the online video. So there are actually a lot of applications. Several applications don't need to interact with the internet. That is the standalone application. But now most of the applications need to send or receive data to or from the internet. All these applications, we call it the network applications. And when we use these applications, actually there are information generated. For example, if we access the web browser, we need to transmit some message and receive some HTML file. And if we use the online game, we need to transmit some command to the server. If we watch the online video, actually there are videos downloaded from the server. So all these text, pictures, and videos are all information representation modes. Information needs to be transmitted in the network, but the computer or network can only identify the zero or ones. So actually the videos, the text, the kind of information need to be uh, translated into data which only uh, include zero and ones. And the data then can be transmitted from the computer to through the network to another computer or another server. So actually that is data transmitted in the networks. And people cannot directly understand the zero and ones. So actually at the receiver, the computer should also translate the zero one data into the video or text, which format people can understand. 